What up, peoples? It's the Al York Sports Show. Before I get started, I want to salute the East Coast, the West Coast, Vegas Strong, LES to the death. And uh, I want to give a special shout out to Miss Christy. I know you were sick yesterday, that's why you couldn't come to the show. Uh, salute from everybody for the pickup show, man. We, we wanted you there, you could be there. Hopefully, we get to get you back. Um, also, shout out to all my friends, all the viewers. Everybody who supports the pickup show in any way, we love y'all, man. And with that, let me get to the topic at hand. The world champions, Boston Red Sox. Let me tell y'all something, man. And my Yankee fans, y'all got to understand, I do this for a living. So you might be upset with me because I'm giving them props, but that's how I do, man. And even if I wasn't a Yankee fan, that's the type of do I am. It's just like when I'm umpiring and I know one team and I don't know the other, I'm not going to give the guy I know an advantage. I don't get down like that, man. You know, my integrity means everything. So I got to give it up to the Red Sox, man. The Red Sox did their thing in many ways. Let me start off by saying I'm one of the few that thought that they uh, they played better than they record. So I said, you know what? Come playoff time, they're going to lay an egg. Not only did not they lay an egg, they not only that, they play to me basically the toughest schedule out of everybody. I mean, you have to go through a hot New York Yankee team who I predicted would beat them. Houston that I predicted would beat them. And then the Dodgers that I said, you know what? Boston's rolling, man. I got to roll with being Tony. I think gun in my head took Boston in six. That one. So, and not only did they beat all these teams, they beat them three to one, four to one, and four to one. They let the other team just get one win in each series, which means they won convincingly. Even though you see them games in Shans Ravine in LA where they were tighter than what they looked like, I'd give it to you. But at the end of the day, when you read when you read the newspapers or you read whatever, it says Boston and five, no matter how you cut it. So salute to the Boston Red Sox. Um, they dominated all year. I just thought, you know, me being a Yankee fan too, and the, and the hate we got against the Red Sox, but even beside the hate, I just thought that they was a real good team. They had three superstars in my book. And when you have a great team, you, I mean, L.A. Dodgers got more superstars than them. The only real superstars in Boston, when you really think about it, is J.D. Martinez who hit 346, no, 330, correction, 330, 43 home runs, 130 RBIs. And Mookie Betts, to me, was one of the best outfielders in the game. Mookie hit 346, 32 home runs, 80 ribbies. Mookie's great on both sides, unlike J.D., who's just basically more of a hitter. He could play the outfield, but he can't track balls down. He has no range. So Mookie, I, if I had to pick one of those two, I'm taking Mookie Betts because he does it on both sides. And then you got Chris Sale, who wasn't unhealthy Chris Sale in the playoffs. And everybody else, to me, is a toss-up from Benny Tini, ex Bogart, Nunez, Pierce, Mitch Morlin, Devers, uh, Jackie Bradley Jr., who has the potential to be a star, but had a horrible season, though had a great playoffs. They was the next man up. They, they replicated what New England Patriots rep, uh, represent every year. The next man up. Because when you think about it, look at the Dodgers. Kershaw, Jason Turner, Manny Machado, Bellinger, Yasiel Puig. These are name brands. And Jansen, who used to be a great closer, who choked in this series. So if you went by star power, Dodgers was the play. But if you went by team play and everybody stepping up and everybody doing whatever it takes to scrap, which I thought the Dodgers had the edge on that from being hungrier for not winning in over 30 years and losing last year. So, yo, Boston represented, man. I can't hate on Boston Red Sox. They handle their business. David Price won two playoff games. He hasn't won a playoff game. And, and he's like 0-10 in the playoffs. He's so bad in the playoffs that the uh, you had teams that actually put him in a bullpen. 
You know, the uh, Toronto Blue Jays had him coming out the bullpen. That's how bad he is as a starter when he played with the Jays. And he had two great pitch games this series, which was definitely to me the key to winning this series is what can you get out of David Price? Because I thought Evaldi was going to take his spot, but they put Evaldi in a pen, which was another good move by Cora. Cora was a great coach, made great decisions all year. He made one bad decision, but it didn't, it didn't end up biting him. And that was game four when he left uh, Rodriguez in the face, Yasil Pui, when he had two right-handed relievers in the bullpen ready. He left them in and Pui went yard work on him and went up four zip. And to me, that's what changed the series was Boston being able to come back from a four zip deficit and L.A. giving up a four zip lead. You can't do that, especially at home, especially you down two games to one. Dodgers had to win that game, and that game to me was the series. That was it. Because after that, that, that's all she wrote. Look at yesterday how flat the Dodgers were. They were flat because they knew they couldn't come back, man. They knew it. Three to one, you got two left at Fenway, one left at Shaz Ravine. It's not going to happen, man. And like I said, salute to the Boston Red Sox. For an incredible year. And the biggest thing I think they did was shutting down the Houston Astros. They shut down the champions in baseball and won three games at Minute Maid Park. And I got my red on to salute them as a sports, you know what I mean, analyst, as a sports talker, as a sports dude. I can't hate, man. They earned it, man. I don't care what nobody say. My Yankee niggas kept me up. Yo, Al, what you doing? Dog. I'm not a hater, bro. These dudes earned it. They did it. They did it clean. No excuses. If anything, they had motherfuckers that wasn't 100% as of Chris Sale. You know, and they had other players that were kind of nipped up. Nunez was nipped up and a few other cats. And they did it with no excuses. Anybody that stepped up got beat down. Do the math on that. And, and there's a rumor going around. I don't really want to say this because I don't want to mess up the Boston thing. That a lot of Met fans are converting to Boston fans. This is going around. This is a true story. I was hoping to bring them in with us and then teach them loyalty after that. Because, you know, I can understand all those dismal seasons of losing. I mean, you got no other choice but to hate. You understand what I'm saying? At least from their perspective. Me, I wouldn't do that. But from their perspective... But I was trying to get them on with the Bronx Bombers. But rumor has it, these niggas is becoming Red Sox fans. And salute to the Boston Red Sox, 2018 champions. No excuses. They earned it, and I gave it out on my video. So that's another you know, reason why I like that they won. Because I serviced the Red Sox to a few cats that made some money. And no salute. And I got no regrets for doing that. And like I said, I'm a Yankee fan to the day I die. Al York Sports. But I give it up, man. Salute to the Boston Red Sox, man. Real talk. And with that, we're going to take you into this. Go to WWDB TV on YouTube. Catch all our pickup show shows. The new ones that are coming out. The latest ones that are coming out. Make sure y'all go into real simple. WWDBTV.com on YouTube. Or you can just go to the website. Our videos are up. So show love. Love y'all. Salute to the East Coast, West Coast. Pick up show. Vegas Strong. Vegas Nights. Everything that has to do with Vegas. Al York Sports. Love y'all niggas. And like I said, anybody that stepped up, Boston beat them down. Those are facts. 100 Al York Sports. Love y'all niggas.